Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the Tomarosa. We are in the dairy today, and now that the rough-in electrical inspection has passed, it means we can cover up the rest of the walls. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start cutting some plywood and covering walls. writing the measurements on the studs so that then they would also be in the photo and that way in the future inevitably when you need to put something in a wall you know 100% where it's at. Now it's time for the most crucial piece we're assuming it will fit. Whew. This is our last piece for tonight. We made good progress today. Tomorrow our goal is that wall that's by Stacy and then this wall. And that will make a huge difference because now we'll have distinct rooms in the dairy. And good night. And we're getting back at it this morning. Gonna work on these next two walls. We are continuing to make progress. We got this wall done on both sides. And now we're working on this other wall. And of course, we're having some really good weather outside right now. Springtime. Lots of spring weather. Good morning and welcome back. This is where we are at in the dairy. There's the office, here's the processing room, and here is the milk house. There's Stacy. In the milking parlor, we have the back half of the milk house wall. And what are we doing here, Stacy? We're just putting some insulation board in there just to help with the differences because the milk house is more conditioned than the milking parlor would be. Plus, we've had these blue foam boards sitting around for a while. And it seems like a good use to get rid of them. finished putting the insulation in this wall as you can see over here above the door any of the scraps we had from putting in the insulation we're just putting in the wall behind the final top layer of insulation does it make sense to just throw them away we finally have the plywood up I'm so tired of dealing with it well, now we got some more trim to do around windows and stuff filling screw holes and then we'll get to paint and it's going to look awesome when we paint in here. We are back in the dairy. The good thing about today is Stacy hooked up our little wall heaters so we can kind of get a little bit more of a heated space and working on getting our glass block window installed. We put a little frame in and now Stacy's going to put it in. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. I really like the way it looks. Now we're all done, right? Just start milking cows? Yep, there we go. Welcome back to the Tomarosa. We have been working on filling in different areas with caulk and putty to make a good painting surface. It's boring, tedious work, so we don't have a lot of footage of it. But here is Stacy finishing up the ceiling. Which is the worst. Which is, it is the worst. Working overhead is the worst. And then this is just a view of what it looks like. Rainy, rainy today. Of course, the girls know a good thing. They slept inside last night. They're all nice and dry. Good morning. 
Hello. It is raining cats and dogs outside. But it's a good day to work inside, which is what we're going to do. Can you guess what we're going to do? Painting, finally. Because although we love this wood look with patches of white on it, we're going to get a nice sanitary surface going for the dairy. What so, are we, uh, oh, so do you want to get the can of paint and talk about what paint we're using? Well, I thought that'd be a different shot. Oh, it's going to be a different shot. This is what the eventual top coat will be. This is Van Sickle uh, Dairy Enamel. I really like Van Sickle paints. I've used a lot of their equipment paints. This is an oil-based outlet enamel. Um, basically, it's a marine type paint. Uh, the, this is what we're going to use in the dairy. It's a gloss white and should hold up for a long time. Uh, I actually did contact Van Sickle to find out what was the best primer to use under it, especially on uh, raw wood, and they recommended this Sure Block Oil Primer. Um, it's really good at stopping the tannins that are in the wood from coming through, so that's what we're going to use to prime. Woo! We have got the processing room primed. It is a very smelly oil-based paint, so we've got our respirators on. It's looking pretty good. And our next thing is the milk house. Stacy's working on getting the paint ready. We have everything covered and ready to paint. Big difference though, this is the before and this is the after. Stacy's finishing cleaning up some of the tools. It's been a long day of painting. About seven hours, you think, Stacy? Yeah, I think so. So, ta da! That's what it looks like now. This again is a primer, so it's not a perfect solid coat. Walking into the milk house. Definitely makes the space feel a lot more like a dairy. Bigger. Brighter. We gotta check out Stacy's uh, highlights he gave himself today. <laughs> we have a lot of cleaning up to do. Day two on our painting project. It's snow raining. Here's Stacy. We're just um, doing some more caulking and putting before we put on the final top coat. It already looks so much different than it did yesterday when it was just that big plywood box. See how it looks when it dries. Through. 11 gallons of primer and 13 and a half gallons of paint. That's a lot of paint. Let's look at it. Here we are in the office, which was already painted, and now we're walking into the processing room. It's amazing how much brighter it is in here with all the walls painted. There's our lovely glass block window coming into the milk processing. Whoops, sorry. Coming into the milk house, very nice. And then into the milking parlor. The transformation of the spaces is amazing to me. It was a huge push to get the walls covered, prepped and painted, and it looks amazing. We're very happy with the progress. There's still a lot to do. We got to finish the concrete along the bottom of the walls. We got to do more electrical and plumbing and start installing equipment. So that's what's going to happen next. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired of working on the dairy, but I'm also super excited.
excited about where we are and where we're headed. More great things to come, so please stay tuned, and we'll see you next time on the Tomarosa.